Satisfied singles. Hey, hey, hey. When's the last time that you took a minute to have a praise break? Mm. To thank God in such a way that's enthusiastic. That's right. That's raw. That's real. That's yeah. passionate. When's the last time you chose to praise the Lord? Mm. To lose your mind about what God has done in your life. When's the last time you said thank you out loud in a shopping mall while you're walking down the street, while you're sitting at your cubicle on your job, while you're hanging out with friends? Have you ever just took a moment and said, whoo, thank you, Jesus, out loud? Hallelujah. Just had a thank praise you, Lord. break out loud. Thank you, just Jesus. Just been ruling and, and uprising with Christ on your mind yeah. out loud in front of people. When's the last time you did that? satisfied single today we're hoping to encourage you to have a praise party yeah. to have a moment where you give thanks to God and those concerns that you have on the altar those things that you're worried about that you're fearful of give thanks to God and watch what happens eventually to those concerns ha let's get to it pastor hallelujah satisfied singles. Yeah, so you know we've been talking about joy, and so one of the things that Pastor is saying is that giving thanks, it really chases our fears away. See, there's a scripture that says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. I want us to go to this evening to Romans chapter 8, and we're going to read verses 28 and 29. It's the New Testament. Amen. And the word of God reads in this manner. And we know that all things work together for the good of them who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Yes. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, mm -hmm. that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And so when we look at this, things do get kind of rough on this side, right? In the earth. But it does not mean that God is not, has not worked it out for our good. Mm -hmm. So the question would be, do you trust him? See, really, this thing that we've been talking about having joy, it's really about having joy in every situation mm -hmm. and not allowing the circumstance to overtake us, not allowing ourselves to be consumed in it, but that we could be consumed and that we could be caught up in joy. Mm -hmm. See, part of choosing joy is thanksgiving. When Pastor just gave that illustration about what, and asked the question, when was the last time that you really praised God in an open environment, when you really thanked God, when you showed a pure worship before God? Thanking God for who he is and for what he's done. Yes. Even in the midst of disappointment. See, it's easy to praise God and to worship God when things are going well. But will you still have that same tenacity, that same, that same enthusiasm to praise God even in the midst of turmoil? See, when you and I give God praise, it truly and truly give him and truly give him worship. What it does is it chases those nasty enemies uh -huh. away. What's the nasty enemy, Pastor Shelley? It's fear. Yes. It's self-pity. Mm. It's bitterness. Bitterness. Envy. Pride. And truth be told. At any given time, any of us can be guilty of it. Yes. Oh, we can have some self-pity, woe parties, oh, woe is me. But when we learn to praise God and worship God, those enemies can't torment us anymore. Mm. That feeling of loneliness, the feeling of bitterness, the feelings of envy and pride, they won't be able to haunt and taunt us the way that they have in the past when we open up our mouths and give God praise, when we open up our mouths and when we give God worship, what we're allowing ourselves to do is to choose joy in spite of my current circumstances. 
when you and I sing praise to God, I believe that it opens up the heavens. Mm. God enjoys when we come into a place of worship with him. See, trusting God, it really means what you're saying is that I really believe that God is working this thing out on my behalf. Mm -hmm. I believe that he works all things together for the good of them who love him, yes. who are called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. We are overcomers. Mm -hmm. We're more than conquerors, right? So we got to begin to apply this thing. It's the same thing that we said over in Marriage That's Monday, gorgeous. that... What good is it to get all of this information and we're fat with wisdom and we're fat in, in, in scripture and we're fat in the word of God and knowledge and, and having a better understanding, but we never take and apply it. There comes a time when we have to apply the word of God. We have to. The act of trusting or choosing, I should say, the act of choosing to trust God with all circumstances, then choosing joy brings about a change of heart. My so God. then what happens? I soon begin to feel joy. Yes. I soon begin to feel trust. I soon begin to have the hope. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Why? Glory, because glory. I'm chasing, thank you, speak to God, all of my fears away by giving thanks. And who can have, can give thanks and not have joy? Come on now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Right, right there. there. If you have a moment, as a matter of fact, take a moment to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take a moment to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For my life. For my life. For my health. For my health. For my strength. For my strength. For my mind. For my mind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For my life. For my life. For my health. Family for my family, for my job, for my job, for my enemies, for my enemies that make me strong. That make me strong. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Listen, hallelujah, if you do hallelujah. not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then it's hard to be thankful for anything that happens in your life. But tonight, we're asking you to give your life to Jesus tonight, and as you do that, have a heart filled with thanks, filled with praise. That's what you saw us just doing. Praising God for our lives, praising God for what we have, praising God and praising for God for you and where he wants us to be. And so if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, accept him tonight. Yeah. Be filled with this Holy Spirit. And then I promise you at that moment when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you will have a spirit of thanks and it will chase away all of your fears. Yeah. Hopefully the value you've received tonight is the value you'll practice tomorrow. We love you. you. But more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. Peace. We'll see you tomorrow. Blessings.